Hi, I'm Julia, registered holistic nutritionist from Volume 1. And today we're going to talk about what I think are the top five supplements to take. Walking into a health food store can be daunting, especially if you don't know what you're looking for. The shelves are full of bottles that all look the exact same. So I'm going to talk about the top five supplements that are going to get you started on the right foot. So these are things that you can take on a daily basis to just maintain proper health and well-being. Obviously, individual needs are going to vary, but these I think are going to cover all your bases. So the first is a multivitamin. Sounds a little trivial, but so does drinking water, and you definitely need to do that. Taking a multi helps to cover all your bases. It has a little bit of everything from A to and it gives you a little bit of antioxidants, calcium for your bones, uh, and all of your vital minerals are in here as well. Okay, a lot of people always say they eat right, great, however, food quality, not the same as it used to be. Uh, and these are supplements, they're not replacements. So they're not designed for people to have bad diets and take a multi and it's fine. They're just supplementing what's missing from our food. So multivitamin, foundation, definitely one of the most important. Second, probiotics. These are one of my favorite things ever. They have so many very important roles in the body. Most people take them for digestive health. That's, I think, what they're commonly known for. They're really good for your colon. They promote proper pooping. Uh, they're good for gas and digestion, but they're actually really vital for your immune system. Most people don't realize that most of your immune system is actually found in your gut, uh, and it's promoted by the population of these friendly bacteria. So keeping your gut well populated with the good stuff keeps you healthy year round. Number three, omega-3 fish oil. Uh, this is an EFA, stands for essential fatty acid. Essential meaning that you have to consume it. You must get it through food. Your body actually can't make this on its own. Hence, you need a supplement. Fish oil is one of the best sources of these essential fats. Really important for joint health, cognitive function, skin, eyesight, lots and lots of stuff. Greens, number four, okay? Kind of an umbrella term referring to any green substance that they've turned into a powder or liquid and you mix with water. Keeps your body alkaline excellent for energy, allows the body to absorb nutrients properly so that you actually are utilizing whatever you are eating from your food, um, provides also a little bit of a gentle cleanse. So really, really good for energy. And last but not least, we've got number five, calcium. We all know it's good for our bones, but it's actually very, very good for heart health as well. It maintains proper heart rhythm, helps to lower cholesterol, prevent heart disease, really good for the skin, and does contribute to energy production. Calcium is a giant mineral. It needs help to be absorbed. Vitamin D and magnesium need to be added to calcium in order for it to be utilized by the body. So when you're choosing your calcium supplement, make sure that you look for one that has these two cofactors added into it. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that some of these tips will put you on the right track.